Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Hello. Guys. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. How are you guys? Fine. Okay. Amazing. Thank you for joining, guys, for the session. Good evening. How are you? Are you fine? Are you so well? Are you happy? Fine. Amazing. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. We're going to start everybody with the session, the class, this is class number three. Uh, before to start, I will pass attendance, please. As soon as you listen to your names, remember you have to say present. Please. Let's begin. Uh, that now. Present. Thank you. Maria Veronica. Maria Veronica. Are you? Oh, yes. Okay. Edith Janet. Present. Okay. Nancy Castillo. Present, teacher. Here. Alexis Flores. Alexis Flores. I'm here yet. Ana Maria Hueso. Present. Okay. Ana Janet. Ana Janet. I'm here. Okay. We're dealing with Dennis Sarai. Dennis Sarai. Okay. Hello, Jenny. Can you start? Okay, continue. We'll go with William Ernesto. William Ernesto. Hello, William. I can see you. Can you hear me? Escucha, William. Hello. Lo veo, lo veo por acá. Lo veo. Escucha. Daniel Jeremias. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Ruth Milagro. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Emilio. Mm -hmm. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Alfredo. Present teacher. Thank you. The service man. Service man. Good evening, I'm here. Good evening, thank you. Sonia Maldonado. Present teacher. Here. Jaime Humberto. Present. Here, Suma Yanira. Present. Here. Gloria Ericella. Present. Thank you. Katie Lisbeth. Present teacher. Thanks. Victor Adonai. Victor Adonai. I can see you. I can see you, Victor. Gilma uh, Elizabeth. Gilma Elizabeth. Present teacher. Yeah. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Bonilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Erika Yesenia. Present. Here, Vilma Tatiana. Vilma Tatiana. Verónica Milagro. Verónica Milagro. Can see you, Verónica. And you're having some issues. Can you escucha, Verónica? Gerardo Chinchilla. Present. Thank you. Erika Marisol. Present teacher. Here. Marta Stephanie. Marta Stephanie. I can see Marta Stephanie too. Can you hear me, Marta? Escucha, Marta. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Carolina Marquez. Present. Thank you. Okay, ¿quién es no mencionado? Good evening, by the way. William Hernández. William Hernández. Present. Thank you. Por acá lo tengo ya. Entre tarde. Alexis, right? Sí. Thank you. ¿Quién más? ¿A quién me he mencionado? Si me hace falta alguien, me avisa. Por favor. Ok. Vamos ahorita a todo. Well, uh, welcome everybody. We're going to start with the class. This is class number three. Uh, I would like to know if you have any questions so far about the platform. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Bien. Verónica. Victor. ¿Todo bien con la plataforma? No sé si hemos iniciado. Por cierto, quiero... Quiero hacerles énfasis en esto, de la plataforma. Eh, espero que ya hemos iniciado. Si no hemos iniciado, les invito a que, que empecemos a desarrollar la plataforma, a realizar cada ejercicio, ¿verdad? Para ir completando. Es que recuerden, hay que ir iniciando con, con, la sesión, con las secciones. Y como lo dije en las clases, papá, la semana pasada, no hay ninguna restricción. Ustedes pueden ir avanzando hasta donde ustedes quieran llegar. Si queremos completar la, la, la plataforma, lo podemos hacer. Recuerden que la plataforma nos ayuda, en este caso, a aprender nuevas cosas y a practicar. Igual, todo se va a reforzar acá en, la, en, la, en las clases, ¿verdad? Vamos por secciones. Como lo he mencionado, eh, vamos eh, hasta la segunda semana, debemos llegar con la sección 3. Y pues, estar listos para el midterm. ¿va? Luego continuamos con la semana 3, la semana 4, perdón, la, se la semana 5. Que en la sección 3, la sección, perdón, la sección 4 y la sección 5. ¿va? Semana 3 y semana 4. ¿Ok? Entonces, en la semana 4 terminamos con el final test. Ahí terminamos. Entonces, que les invito nuevamente a seguir trabajando trabajando en la plataforma, si hay dudas o tienen alguna dificultad con algún ejercicio, no duden en, en consultarme. Podemos eh, escribir al, al grupo de WhatsApp, por supuesto, o si gustan hacerlo de forma personal, todos pues estamos disponibles, pues vamos a la otra, ¿ok? Ok. Si alguien ha presentado algún problema o ha tenido algún problema durante el fin de semana, probablemente, o en esos días, eh, me avisa, ¿ok? Vamos a discutirlo acá. No me dicen y con gusto. ¿Se ¿Han tenido problemas? Ok, thank you, Edith. Ninguno. Teacher. Dígame. Yo estuve trabajando en, en una y fíjense que me equivoqué. Entonces dije yo, bueno, la otra me parece en la, ya le digo en qué actividad. En la 2.4. Hmm. Ajá, estuve trabajando en esa y yo me equivoqué. Y al momento que yo quise, volví a escuchar el audio, se me sonaba mejor la otra y vi que tampoco me la agarraba, me la ponía mala. Entonces dije yo, la última opción es la, como solo son tres opciones, probé las tres y luego todas me parecían malas. No sé si ahora el, el sistema funciona ya no se puede así marcar hasta que uno acierte mm. o tiene un cierto número para intentar. No, de hecho, me parece extraño porque no tiene restricción. Se, se, se puede hacer, permítame, se puede hacer varios intentos. Aunque se, se ha equivocado y vuelve a intentar, tendría que, en este caso, aceptar la respuesta para las cosas que estamos okay. queriendo tener, ¿verdad? Lo que le recomiendo en ese caso, si, si por ejemplo, okay. intentó la primera vez y luego no volvió a, a repetir y no le aceptó, lo que le recomiendo mejor es que actualice, permítame, permítame. Le, 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 le recomiendo que actualice acá, actualice de, por completo la página. Ah, ok. Sí, porque fíjese que yo estuve intentando y dije que quizás yo me he equivocado. 
y intenté con otra respuesta, igual siempre me marcaba la X, e intenté con otra respuesta y siempre me marca la X, ya, este, ya le puse las tres respuestas y siempre me lo pone malo. Ok, eh, bueno, intenta nuevamente, intenta otra vez, haga eso, actualiza la página y me, me comenta okay. si desea dar un problema, vamos a revisarlo, ok? Okay. Yeah. De, no sé quién dijo, teacher. Teacher. Yeah, Luis, dígame. Ay, lo que lo que pasa que son dos respuestas en una sola. Probablemente Porque eso. Después eso. La que le duele la, la mano, eso es lo que le está pasando a ella. Son dos respuestas en una. Sí, probablemente eso, eso estaba pasando también. Y... En algunos, algunos ítems, y les aclaro acá, les digo, en algunos ítems, lean, escuchemos cuidadosamente o veamos bien el ejercicio, y por supuesto, algo muy importante, leer las instrucciones, no se les olvide. No se olvide, probablemente en las instrucciones dice ahí que hay en una pregunta o no sé, en dos preguntas, probablemente tengamos dos respuestas correctas. Hay que seleccionar dos. De que leamos nuevamente, leamos. Y probablemente alguna, algún ítem, nos permita dos respuestas. Tenemos de marcar las dos. Así que intento nuevamente y me avisen, no se preocupe. Que le sigan el mismo problema. Eh, I think José Mejía nos tenía una pregunta. Eh, no, teacher, lo, ahí le dice la instrucción en referente a la inquietud de la compañera, que puede ser una o dos respuestas. Sí. Ok, instructions. Listen to the... yo, yo igual marco una, dos, igual en lo mismo de la compañera, pero no me da, no me da este correcto. Ok, ok. Teacher, en este momento, en este momento lo acabo de hacer y sí, ya, ya me agarró, ya voy a escuchar el audio. Y hoy sí, ya me agarró solo en una respuesta, este, hay que seleccionar una. Gracias también a los yeah, compañeros. You, you're welcome. Uh, listen, listen to the, the conversations. Where does where do these people hoard? There may there may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. Okay, debemos de escuchar las conversaciones y más algún item, alguna pregunta o en este caso específicamente a la conversación pueda que obtengamos de una o dos respuestas correctas. Okay. Es que no se nos olvide, le las instrucciones siempre. Primero eso y luego consultar. Porque si no leemos las instrucciones, no, probablemente estemos intentando, intentando, intentando y, y la clave está aquí. Entonces, ok. No hay ningún problema. You're welcome. And thank you guys for helping me. Very good job. All right, we're going to continue, guys. If you don't have more questions, let's hacer más preguntas con los que la plataforma. Me gusta tomarme este espacio al inicio para saber si hay dudas, preguntas, si hay algo tomar en la plataforma, algún ejercicio, luego continuar con la clase. Bueno, me gusta tomar este espacio. Si alguien tiene preguntas, dudas, o ha tenido alguna dificultad en la plataforma. Si hay algunos ya van avanzando, probablemente por la sección 2, es muy bueno. Sigamos avanzando, si sí, sí, lo deseamos. Si son de los, de los participantes que les gusta ir al ritmo, es decir, probablemente estemos acá en la sección 1 todavía porque queremos ir al ritmo en sintonía con la clase, ¿verdad? No hay ningún problema. Eso sí, verifiquemos que vayamos avanzando eh, correctamente. ¿Hay más preguntas? ¿Hay más preguntas? Ya continuamos con la clase. Eh, por cierto, no sé si creo que se nos acaban de ver algunos. Eh, Hace un momento pasé lista, ¿no? Me podría mencionar quiénes se nos acaban de venir. Good evening, by the way. It's a pleasure to have you here. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Eh, Hola. Ana Janet, right? Sí, ahorita. Tuve un atraso. Las disculpas. Okay, okay, no worries. Thank you. ¿Quién más? ¿Alguien más que se unió hace un momento? Y hágame saber si alguien se nos por primera vez a mí. Ese día. Hermano. Mi papá. Creo que solamente a Nadine. ¿Alguien más? 
¿no? Ya está todo es completo. Pero... Ok, let's continue. Let's begin with the class. This is class number three. Today's topic is WS questions 2.2. This is beginner three. Uh, today is Monday, July 19th. Okay, let's start. Remember the topic, WS questions 2.2. In the previous classes, we were talking about affirmative form, negative form, and we were using just the questions from be going to. Now we continue with be going to. That is the main topic in this classes, right? Be going to. But now we continue with questions. Tell me these questions specifically. Okay. One second. Okay, we continue with be going to. But now we go with tell these questions. Okay, let's begin. First, I'm going to introduce the following holidays. Holidays in the US, in the USA. US, USA, it's the same. Uh, we have some special days, and these are some, uh, I would say, holidays that American people celebrate, right? Have New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Those are the most important, or I would say, special holidays that American people celebrate in the United States, right? Of course, they have more special days as, as we have in our country, right? We celebrate different holidays, and these are the most common in the United States. But New Year's Day, New Year's Day, so that one is on January 1st, right? New Year's Day. That is on January 1st, 1st. Then we have Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. So it is on February 14th. It is on February 14th. What about Independence Day? So they celebrate Independence Day in a different occasion, right? It is not similar to our country, right? So they celebrate. When is Independence Day? When is US Independence Day celebrated, guys? When is Independence Day in the United States? July 4th. Yeah. Independence Day, U.S. Independence Day is in July, on July 4th, on July 4th. And it's Independence Day in the United States, it is on July 4th. Halloween, Halloween, what is Halloween? What is Halloween? It is on... Let's go, let's go. October 31st. Exactly. It is on October 31st. 31st. Good. Thanksgiving. What about Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. It is on for Thursday in November. Yeah. It is the fourth Thursday in November. It, do you know spe specifically the date? Do you know specifically the day? I mean, it is the fourth Thursday in November, right? So it varies. It varies. But yeah, but that's for, for the features. I know it's mm -hmm. specific. So we know that, yeah, that's given is in the fourth Thursday in November. Yes. Christmas. When is Christmas? When is Christmas? Christmas is? It's on. On? 25th. On December 25th. Yes. On December 25th. Okay. This is, you know, some vocabulary that we have in this case for holidays. We will continue with these holidays because we're going to include them in the upcoming activities. Okay. Again, New Year's Day. New Year's 
New Year's Day, sorry. New Year's Day. Valentine's Day. Independence Day. Independence Day. Halloween. Halloween. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Christmas. Christmas. Okay. Any questions right here, guys? Any doubts? The holidays? It's clear. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Don't forget holidays in the USA. Now let's move on to the next part. And let's begin with WH questions to be going to. Let's begin. Remember, we use be going to oops, to express future plans and intentions. That is the main use of be going to. Don't forget that, please. Be going to is used to talk about future plans and intentions. That is the use of be going to. It's used to talk about future plans and intentions. Let's go with the formula that we have or we follow for just no questions. Let's be with just no questions first. For example, we have the formula. We begin with the verb to be. What is the verb be, guys? What is the verb be? Is or um. Yeah, is or um. Very good. That is a verb. This is the verb be. Um or is. Okay. We begin with that in the formula. Next, we have a subject. Plus, we have going to, which is auxiliary. Plus, we have a verb. The verb is in base form. Finally, we have a complement with a question mark. Okay. Let's see an example. Are you going to do anything next vacation? Are you going to do anything next vacation? Let's analyze the question, right? So we begin with the verb be. Uh, then we have the, the subject. It's going to last. The verb, which is in this form, and we have a complement with a question mark. So the question says, Are you going to do anything next vacation? Are you going to do anything next vacation? Analyze it. This is the verb be of a subject, you going to. This is the verb in base form, do, and this is a complement. Anything next vacation? We can answer to this kind of questions. We can say, and we get short answers. We can say, yes, I am, or we have, no, I'm not. Of course, like I said last class, we can include more information if you want. But most of the times we say, yes, I am, no, I'm not. Because those are yes, no questions. Son las cosas cortas, right? But we can say, if you say, yes, I am, I'm going to go to the beach. Say, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to stay home, right? It depends if you want to, to say more information, if you want to say just, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. So you can vary. But you can add information, you can add information. In some cases, we tend to say uh, different questions with longer answers. When we say longer answers, it's because we have yes, I am. Then we say, I'm going to go to the beach. Or some people say just like, yes, I am going to the beach. But in this case, we have these forms. Short answer, yes, I am, no, I'm not, right? For example, if I ask you, let's see, um, have the tintilla, are you going to do anything next vacation? 
Eh, please repeat the question. Eh, ¿Puedes repetir la pregunta? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to do anything next vacation? Uh, yes, I am uh, going to travel to Mexico. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Sonia, are you going to do anything anything next vacation? You have the microphone now. Sorry. Microphone apagado. Are you going to do anything ne next vacation, Sonia? Uh I am I am got I, I am, am going to, to go to go today beach. Oh, okay, I'm going to go to the beach. Repeat again. Yes, I am. Funny? Yes, I am. Ah, uh, yes, I am. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I am to go. I am going to go. I am going. I am going to go to the beach. To the beach. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Sonia. Mm -hmm. Erika Marisol, are you going to do anything next vacation? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Okay. Yes. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, Walter, are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am. Um, I am going to visit all friends. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Moving on. Let's continue talking about all the forms. Okay, now let's go with WH questions. I just, I mean, I was just recalling right just the questions because we saw just the questions in the previous class right i'm just recalling this this form para hacer una retroalimentación con los que just no questions eh, la, la clase pasada lo, lo, lo vimos verdad vamos practicando solamente son recordatorios let's continue now with ws questions okay let's go with ws questions now um this is the formula we follow. We have a WH word plus the verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus a verb. The verb is in base four, and finally we have a complement. Question mark. Hmm. Talking about the beginning, WH words. What WH words do you remember, guys? The WH words do you know? WH words. Tell me. What? When? What? When? 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 Who? How? How? Where? Why? How often? How many? Who? How many? Who? Why? Why? What time? Etc. We have more, right? What, where, when, who, how, <laughs> when, how many, sorry? Why and what time? Most of the time, it works. That's what we use at the beginning of the question, right? At the beginning. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Charlie going to go next week? Where is Charlie going to go next week? Okay. Listen, every WH word has a purpose. Every WH word has a purpose. Let's remind the purpose of the purposes of those WH words. Let's begin with the, the most common. What? What is the purpose of what? Asking about options. Options. 
It can be things, ideas, activities, etc. That's the purpose of what? Where? What is the purpose? Talking about place. Place. Places can be locations, etc. When? Time. About time. About time. Maybe days, as we saw in the previous class, right? Days. Moment. Ooh. Moments, yeah, moments, good. Moments. Who? About persons. Yeah, about people. a person or people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Es como pidiendo una explicación. Answers. Yeah. So you can say reasons. So you can say explanations. Explanations. A reason. Because. Blah, blah, blah. Next. How. Options. Options um, can be, it can be like uh, the way, or the ways of doing something. Or it can be feelings, emotions, etc. Okay. Uh, let's go with one more. What about what time? What time? It's similar to when. Similar to when. So we ask for, we ask about time. Um, and in this case, it tends, to, it tends to be specific, more specific, right? Okay, these are the purposes of these knowledge words. What are the purposes? So here we're having where. What is Charlie going to go next week? We're asking about. Place. A place. Where is Charlie going to go next week? So in this case, we get long answers. We get information, right? We get information about someone, about um, about you, etc. Where is Charlie going to go next week? Charlie is going to go to Rotan next week. So the place, the destination is Rotan. That is the destination. Charlie is going to go to Rotan next week. This is the way we ask or we make questions. Uh, WH questions specifically would be going to. Okay. This is one example. Oh, yeah, Gloria. We have which. That's another one. Which. Which is similar to what? Most of the times we ask about choices. Choices or options, as someone said. Options. Okay. Yeah, which is another one. Okay. Questions here? Any questions? No? Everything clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's go with another one. Continue with WH questions. I need you to pay attention to, and I need you to look at the WH word, because depending on that, we know the purpose of the question, right? Again, we continue with the formula. Look at the picture too, and the question is, what are you going to do for Christmas? What is the purpose of this question, guys? What is the purpose? We ask about We ask about 
Activities. Activities, good. Activities, things, ideas, in this case, plans, because we're thinking about the going to future. What are you going to do next? What are you going to do for Christmas? Sorry. Yeah, we're asking for activities. For example, I am going to spend time with my family. That's an activity. Spend time with my family. Okay, I'm going to spend time with my family. Okay, that is an activity. That is a future plan. Okay, that is the purpose of what? What? We're asking for activities. Possible activities in a future event. For example, if I ask you, let me see. Um, Alexis, what are you going to do for Christmas? I'm going to. I'm going to um, stay home. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay home. Perfect. Alexis, can you choose someone, please? <clears throat> choose a classmate. Gilma Elizabeth. Okay, Alexis, can you ask the question to Gilma? Yes. What are you going to do for Christmas? I am going to eat turkey with my family. Okay, that sounds good and delicious. You are going to eat turkey with your family, right? Yeah, Gilma. Repeat it for me, Gilma. Turkey. 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 Gilma? Okay. Turkey. 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 Amazing. Gilma, can you select somebody else, please? You're welcome. Keep a classmate. Mm. Daniel Jeremias. And then hear me. Okay. Ask the question to what are you? Okay. What are you going to do for Christmas? I'm going to go visit my family and meet with my friends. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you. Daniel Jeremias. Daniel, let's go with you. Let's go with you. Select someone, please. I mean. Okay, let's go with Jaime. Can you ask the question again, please, Jaime? What are you going to do for Christmas, Jaime? In my next Christmas vacation, I'm going to play Fortnite with my son every day, bro. Oh, okay, that's a nice plan. Thank you, appreciate it, Jaime. And by the way, I have some participants here. Good evening, welcome. Okay. Lo que tengo... Más compañeros, más participantes. ¿Qué nos hacen los que nos acaban de unir? Let's see. Can you tell me your name, please? Nos han unido más participantes. ¿Me pueden decir sus nombres? No me equivoco. Una de ellas es Verónica Durán, right? Yes. Uh, your name is... Veronica Maria Veronica, perdón. Maria Veronica. Maria Veronica, ¿verdad? Sorry. Maria Veronica. Maria Veronica Durán. ¿Quién más? Creo que tengo alguien más por acá. Ah, oh, Jenny Saray, right? ¿No, Jenny? Sí. Thank you for joining, Jenny. How are you? Okay, we're missing just Vilma. Yeah. yeah, only her. Thank you. Okay, listen, uh, Veronica Duran and Jenny, we're talking about the latest questions. The latest questions will be going to. That is the main topic. The latest questions will be going to. Like I said before, in the previous classes, we talked about affirmative, negative, and just a question. We'll be going to. Now we continue with all these questions, right? And we were saying that 
yeah, we have different forms to construct a question. And we need to keep in mind the WH words. But the different WH words, that is the first word that uh, we have in the in the question, right? A WH word. It can be what, it can be where, it can be when, it can be who, it can be why, how, what time, which, etc. And every WH word has a purpose. Has a purpose. Okay? So what we're discussing this over here. See that's it. These are the WH words. Those are the purposes. Okay? And right now we're keep we're keeping in mind. The formulas have a WH word as a verb be, as a subject, as going to, as a verb, and at the end we have a complement with a question mark. For example, the first question that I gave your classmates was, where is Charlie going to go next week? So here, the purpose of the question is a destination, a destination. Uh, can be, you know, New York, can be Paris, can be Montreal, Rotan, can be El Boqueron. Dale, pista, tu tía, Different destinations, te... right? Different destinations. Talking about places, okay? Places. Where is Charlie going to go next week? Charlie is going to go to Rotan. That is a destination. That is a place that Charlie is going to visit. Charlie is going to go. Okay, clear. Then we were having this question. We continue with the formula, and the question is, what are you going to do for Christmas? I'm going to spend time with my family. I'm going to eat turkey, as someone said, with my family. I'm going to stay home, as someone said, etc. What about you, Veronica Drum? What are you going to do for Christmas? Uh, I am going to visit hit chicken bones, bones with my mom. Okay, thank you. Victor Adonai, what are you going to do for Christmas? Hear me? See, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, Victor, you can share your answer in the chat. No problem. No problem. Uh, William, what are you going to do for Christmas? Um, uh, I am going to visit my mom and we'll eat tamales. It's a okay. tradition. Excellent. Amazing. Sounds good. Sounds great. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to the following part. Any questions over here? They want a second? No question, teacher. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, continue. Let's go with another one. What is she going to do for Halloween? So now we change the subject. We continue with what? And then we use what? What is the purpose of what? Asking about options. Options. Things. Things. Ideas. Ideas. Activities. Activities. Very good. So that is, a, I would say that, that that's the main purpose. Activities. What is she going to do for Halloween? She's going to do a, she's going to go to a costume party. She's going to go to a costume party. That is a, the, the activity or the plan that, in this case, uh, a woman or the woman has, right? Is going to go to a costume party. Do you know what is a costume party? Do you know what is a costume party? It is a. Uh, Esta disfraz. Fiesta de disfraz. Fiesta de disfraz. Exactly. That is a costume party. So everybody. Disfraz. Yeah. When you put uh, a. a clothes and. Makeup yes. or for pers 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 personages in English? I don't know. Yeah, characters. Characters. Yeah, characters. Mm -hmm. 
hair fasten, um, makeup, um, etc. So you wear a costume, yeah. You wear a costume because you want to be a character for a movie, for a cartoon, etc. For example, Batman, uh, it can be Deadpool, the Joker, etc. Those are some, you know, some examples that we can see in the in the picture, right? We have Eat, in this case, um, the Joker, etc. That is a custom pattern. Eh, Jose Mejia, well, a costume, eh, an equivalence in Spanish is eh, un disfraz, as someone said. Disfraz. Disfraz. Okay, let's continue. We're going to practice now with these questions. As you can see, we have seven questions. We have six questions over here. We're going to practice how, as a whole class. What I want to do, I'm going to select different participants and you need to ask the questions, okay? Listen, the people that is going to, that are going to participate here, sorry, you know, you have to listen to the question. I'm going to select someone in specific. That person is going to choose another classmate and he or she has to ask a question to that person. And of course, the other person has to answer the question based on what we have here, right? For example, what are you going to do after class? Who can help me? All of you? What are you going to do after class? I'm going, going to have a dinner. Okay, you're going to have dinner. What else? I'm going, I'm going to, to sleep. sleep. I said I'm going to sleep. Good. Yeah. Um, I think it is. It is. I'm going to take a shower. You're going to take a shower. Good. Yeah. Okay. It is. Can you select somebody else? Another classroom? I'm going to play video games. You're going to play video games. Good. Thank you. It is. Can you select someone, please? Ah, okay. The classroom. Sorry. Uh, um, Marta Stefan. Marta Stefan. Okay. Can you ask this question to Marta, the first? What are you going to do after class, Marta? I am going to sleep. You're going to sleep. Good. Marta, can you choose another classroom, please? Someone that hasn't participated yet. You cannot participate already. Anna Janet? Yeah, very good. Can you ask the same question to Marta and Ed, please? The first one. What are you going to do? After class? Have What are you no. going to do? Yeah, uh, the question was, what are you going to do after class? Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Uh, um, I'm going uh, to uh, sleep. Yeah, very good. I'm going to sleep. Good. I'm going to sleep. Or you can say, I am going to go to bed. Whatever you use is good. I'm going to sleep, or you can say, I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Very good, Anna Jeanette. Thank you. Let's go with the second question. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? That is, no. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? For example, I can say, I'm going to go to bed at 11 o'clock. What time are you going to go to bed? What time are you going to go to bed? Um, Ana Maria. What I'm going yeah. uh, go to the to bed at um, uh, yeah. bueno, eh, 11 o'clock. <laughs> at 11 o'clock. 
Okay. Yes. Re repeat again, Anna. I'm going to go. To I'm bed. going to go to bed at 11 o'clock. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> Anna Maria, can you select somebody else, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you ask a question to Jaime? Jaime wants to participate. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. sorry. In this question, is correct used around around 11, around 12, or around 1 a.m.? Is correct use? Yeah, you can say, you can say, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, so at a bow, you can say at a bow or at a round. Some people say at a bow, at a bow, uh, 11 30. Or you can say, I'm going to go to bed around 11 30. At about, or you can say around. Okay. Decimos, por yes, ejemplo, teacher, thanks. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Es como decir, ¿verdad? Uh, más o menos, uh, ¿cómo decimos en, 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 en español? Se me ha ido la, la palabra. Alrededor, ¿verdad? De las... Alrededor. Sí, yes. exactly. Very good. Thank you. I meant for asking. Uh, let me see, I have another volunteer. Oh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, what time are you going to go to bed tonight? I'm going to bed at 10 o'clock. Yes. Remember, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to bed, to bed at? At 10 o'clock. Yes, very good. Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn, can you select someone, please? The class, man. Okay. Uh, Anna Janet. Uh, she already participated. Someone that hasn't participated yet. They have participated in a moment. Uh, I think they're not participating. Um. <laughs> eh, le hago la pregunta. Eh, let's see, okay, I'm going to select someone. Can you ask a question to Sul? The second one. Ah. Okay. What time are you going to go to bed tonight? What time are you going to go to bed tonight? All right. Hmm, I think just having some issues. Let me know, please, in the chat if you have some issues. Please. Okay, listen, we're going to go with the third question. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? Let's talk about tomorrow. What time are you going to get? Are you going to get, get up tomorrow morning? For example, you can say, I'm going to get up at the 5 o'clock, for example, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? Fruit Milagro. Fruit Milagro. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning? Ruth Milagro. The third question, number three. Um, I am going, going to get... Get up? Get, get up? up um, six o'clock. At six o'clock. Okay, repeat again, Ruth. I'm going to get up. I'm going to get... To get up. Get <laughs> Get up. Get up. Yes. At? At? 5 a.m. or 5 o'clock. 5 a.m. 5 o'clock. Okay. Clock. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, let's, sorry, let's go with the last question. The, Daniel Jeremias, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? What are you going to do tomorrow morning? I'm going to get up at four o'clock. 
Oh, okay. You're going to get up at four o'clock. Good. Thank you. Let's go with the next question, number four. What are you going to do tomorrow morning? For example, I'm going to, you can say, I'm going to okay, probably send emails tomorrow morning. I'm going to send emails, for example. Uh, Jancy, what are you going to do tomorrow morning? What are you mm. going to do tomorrow morning? Uh, I am going to teach in the school. Oh, okay. Excellent. That is a nice activity. You are going to teach a school, right? Oh, excellent. Jancy, can you select somebody else, please? Um, momentito, por favor. Yes, yes. William Ernesto? Yes, very good. Can you ask the same question, Jancy, to William? The same question. Okay. What are you going to do tomorrow morning, William? I'm going. I'm going to send um, some packets to my family. Oh, okay. You're going to send some packages to your family. Good. That's awesome. Thank you. Let's go with number five. What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? Now let's change. Let's say in the afternoon. See, I want to listen to uh, Erika Yesenia. What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? I'm going to join in the class. But again, sorry. Excuse me. I'm going to. Join? Oh, okay. I'm going to join. I'm going class. to join the class. So you can say, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a class, you can say. I'm going to join the class. So you can say, I'm going to take a class. Okay. Very good, Erica. Okay. Erica, can you select somebody else, please? Another classmate? Uh, give me a second. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Take your time. Heidi Elizabeth? Yes. Okay, can you ask the question to Heidi, please? Let's go with the last one. What are you going to do tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Let's go. Erika? Uh, what are you going to do tomorrow night? Yes, thank you. Heidi? I'm going to do play video games. Okay. I'm going to play, remember, video games. I'm going to play video games. Yes. Keep it again, Heidi. I'm going to, I'm going to play video games. Otra vez, sí. Heidi. I'm going okay. to play. I'm going to play video games. Yes. Thank you, Heidi. And thank you, Erica. Thank you. Well, listen, we're going to move on to the last part. I just want to, to show you in practice a conversation. This is the last part. We continue with W's questions we will be going to. Here we have a, an example, a conversation. What I want to do, I need you to look at the conversation. We're going to listen and practice with our classmates. This is an example of a real setting, a real life, life setting. Here we have a conversation with Tim, John, and Lisa. And they are again discussing about future plans. But now we're going to identify, you know, different situations, different questions, just questions or WH questions. Okay. Listen first, please. Listen to the conversation. And then I'm going to request for a few participants. Let's go. The conversation is between John and Lisa. Listen to me first. Let's go on a camera three. One, two, three. Are you going to do anything special for Christmas? 
yeah, I'm going to travel to the USA and visit my relatives there. Really? Where are you going to travel to? On December 15th, how about you? Cool, I'm going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and I spend time together. Sounds great. Well, have a good Christmas day. Thanks, you too. Okay. This is an example of a real life set, right? We're using, or we're including all these questions we're going to. Okay. I'm going to listen to some participants. Okay. I have Gilma. Gilma raise, raises her hand. I will go with Ana Maria. Very good. Thank you. Gilma, you're going to start. You'll be John. Ana Maria, you will be Lisa. Are you ready to start? Let's begin, Gilma. Let's go. Are you? Are you going to do anything special at Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to travel to USA and visit my relatives there. Really? When are you going to travel to? On December 5th. How about yes. you? 15th. 15th. How about you? Cool. Cool. I am going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. Sounds great. Well, have a good Christmas day. Thanks. You too. Okay. Good. Thank you, Gilma and Ana Maria. We will continue. I have Jaime and Jocelyn. Then I will have Erica Marisol with somebody else. Jaime and Jocelyn, let's go with you too. Jaime, you will be John. And Jocelyn, you will be Lisa. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Are I you going to again. anything special? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. No Are you going to anything special for Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to travel to the USA and visit my relative dear. Really? When are you going to travel to? On December 15th, how about you? Cool. I'm going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. So great. We'll have a good Christmas day. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Okay, we will continue and I'm going to select Eric and Marisol with William. Then I will have Veronica Duran, another person. Thank you. Okay, William, you, you will start, you will be John. And Erica Marisol, you will be Lisa. Are you ready? Yes. Let's begin, William. Let's go. Are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to travel to the USA and visit my relatives there. Really? When are you going to travel to? On December 15th. How about you? Cool. I'm going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. Sounds great. Well, have a good Christmas day. Thanks. You too. Amazing. I appreciate guys. Well done. Okay, let's continue. And I have Veronica Duran with Ruth Elizabeth. Very good. Let's go with Veronica Duran and Elis Ruth Elizabeth. Uh, Veronica Duran, you're going to begin. You'll be John. And Ruth, you will be Lisa. Are you ready? Let's go on the camera, please. Yes. One, two, three. Let's go. Are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to travel to you to the USA and visit my relatives there. Really? When are you going to travel to? On December 15th. How about you? Cool. I am going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. 
Sounds great. Well, have a good Christmas day. Thanks, you too. Okay, thank you. Listen, I will select the last participants because of the time. It's fine. Yeah, I just want to listen to that now. And I will go, let me see who hasn't participated yet. Oh, okay, Jose Bismarck, please help me. Jose, you will be John, Dagna, you will be Lisa. Are you ready? Dagna, Next are you? Yeah, Jose. Dagna, are, are you going to do anything special for Christmas? Yeah, I'm going to travel to the USA and visit my relatives <laughs> there. Really? When, uh, when are you going to travel to? On December 15th. Oh, I would do. Cool. I'm going to meet all my family in my grandmother's house and spend time together. Sounds great. Wait. Have a good Christmas day. Thank you too. Excellent. Thank you guys. Okay, listen. It's time. Time to go. Uh, we're going to finish right here. But I would like to know if you have any questions, guys. Any doubts, preguntas, dudas, comentarios que tengan. Is everything clear? I'll be going to. Affirmative, negative, just more questions, obvious questions. Everything clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, clear teacher. Okay. Very good, guys. Well, listen, it, just some quick announcements. El rapidito, el último. Solo comentarles, repito. Para los que no escucharon al principio, ¿verdad? Los que nos miran después. No olvidemos iniciar con la plataforma. Si no, no lo hemos hecho, si lo hicimos perfecto, sigamos trabajando. Y recuerden que ustedes pueden seguir avanzando. Recuerden la información. Eh, no tienen ninguna restricción, por decirlo así, para seguir trabajando, ¿verdad? Avanzando con la sección. Si desean hacerlo, pueden hacerlo. Eh, pueden seguir trabajando en la plataforma y seguir avanzando con la sección. Eh, si hay dudas o preguntas, me pueden escribir, pueden contactarme, ya o sea por el, el grupo WhatsApp o de forma personal. Okay. Eh, mañana terminamos la primera semana del segmento. Llegamos el miércoles y martes. Eh, y el miércoles iniciamos con la semana 2. Recuerden que al finalizar la semana 2, es decir, la próxima semana, haríamos el media. Los adelanto ese día. Les voy a volver a hacer el correctorio en las próximas clases, ¿verdad? Eh, para que ustedes estén listos. ¿Ok? Well, everybody, this is all for today. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. I will see you tomorrow. We continue with our new class. Thank you so much. Have a good night again. Blessings to you and your families. And remember to keep safe. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you. Bye bye.